Hello, hello! Ooh! What is this daily quest business all about? Anyway. Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Ritual of the Night, I tell thee. <clears throat> Ritual of the Night. Come on, the fucking hell. Yay. I'm just looking for subtitles. There we are. New data. Oh fuck, I wanted to be Miriam. Confirm. Why not? Normal heart nightmare. Oh, they're locked. Oh, so you've got to play it. Mm, fine, all right. You're expecting me to play this three times? It better be fucking good. Bit fucking chilly today. Got my fucking hat on. I'd have my fucking gloves on as well if they weren't so fucking thick. The Industrial Revolution ushered in a new era that threatened to transform the values of men. No longer would spirituality be their compass, but not all welcomed the change. In 1783, just as the fires of the Lackey eruption had plunged all of Europe into an ashen darkness, a horde of demons spilled from the shadows and fell upon city after English city. It was a message. The Alchemy Guild, fearing the rise of industrialism and abandonment by their wealthy patrons, had done the unthinkable to defend their existence. Through recondite arts, the alchemists had created shard binders, humans transplanted with crystal that attuned them to demonic power. They sacrificed the shard binders, and in doing so, threw the gates of the world open to demon kind. Countless innocents died. And though the church succeeded in vanquishing the Hell's End, a steep price had already been paid and collected. As for the shard binders, they were presumed to have all died in the sacrificial light. However, two survived. Jebel, a boy for whom by some miracle the rite did not prove fatal. And Miriam, a girl who was spared the ride altogether on account of the strange slumber that took her just before it could begin. Ten years have passed, and mankind too soon forgets tragedy. The demons have returned, presaged by a great castle. And on the <coughs> Learning Jebel is the architect of this new bloodstained ritual. Miriam and the alchemist Johannes set forth for the accursed castle. Their galleon cuts through the water, lancing towards the inevitable. Okay, now, huh?
Johannes, are you certain it was... E. It was Jeebel's doing, Miriam. No mistake. It's so hard to believe. I wouldn't even be alive if not for him. He's a good soul. I know. I know how you feel. And the hell he endured ten years ago would break the best of so... Miriam, I want you to know that I'm sorry. What am I... It was their transgression, not yours. You... you always took care of us. Obviously not enough. Well, let it go, Johannes. We need to focus on the task ahead. If Jebel is responsible for the summoning, then I have to stop him. I gave him my word. I ought to do it. He was my best friend. Fucking hell, man. But I'm the only one who can. The Shard experiments prepared me for combat. Let them amount to something. <sighs> Ten whole years. What put me in that sleep? Where's the hole gone? I wish I had the answer. All I know is the spell that stopped time for you was advanced, arcane. But by observing the ebb of the magic's hold on you, I was able to predict exactly when you would wake up. Oh, I see. What the fuck is this? Just fucking get on with it! We'll make landfall soon. You should get ready. Right, I understand skip scene, but I actually kind of want to have a little bit of a background. But fucking hell, it's like Lord of the fucking Rings! I had the chest there, packed with essential equipment. Now would be a good time to put it on. Ah, oh, that chest. Oh, here we go. Equipment! Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Kung Fu shoes! Oh, fuck yeah. Good. You're prepared. The next order of business is to... I'll take care of it. With my Kung Fu shoes! Kung Fu shoes! You motherfucker! Right. Was that a shard? I'd forgotten the way it felt. Like the demon <sighs> was transmuted into that shard, which forcibly bonded to the crystal embedded in your body. The strength you gain from it is undeniable, but eventually the crystal will devour you. I thought the procedure you discovered halted the corruption. It did, but that doesn't guarantee you'll be safe if you start absorbing shards in massive quantities. I know my body's limits better than anyone. And I'm going to need all the power I can get. And if I run into trouble, you can help me. You've done it before. You'll do it again. You twat. <laughs> Thanks for giving me a choice in the matter. Well, I won't let you down. Not if I can help it. Just promise you won't push yourself. <laughs> Exclamation! How do they get inside? Fucking hell. The demons from the castle must have infested the ship. Then they can help me wake up these muscles of mine. I'll wipe the deck with them. <sighs> Fucking hell. Uh, can we get on now? Alright, so let's jump. Kick. <gasps> Chuck. Water. A doesn't seem... No, sorry. B doesn't seem to do anything.
Oh, look out, look out. Ah. This device responds to magic. Maybe I just need to hold my hand up to it. Yes, thank you. Ah, okay. Kung Fu Master. Oh. Everybody was Kung Fu fighting. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. Game over. Yeah, I've had fucking enough of you and your fucking choose your adventure book. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, I don't fucking care. Um, there you go. That's that. It is what it is. It's not my cup of tea, and I, uh, yeah, whatever. Video's going to end now, anyway. The Industrial Revolution oh, ushered in a new era that fuck to transform off. the values of men. Bye. No